Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have something so exciting to show you today. I'm just so grateful. I have a couple brands that recognized me as an artist and as a potential successful creator right from the beginning of my career. Laura Mercier, when I first got a package from them at my front door, they had never contacted me. They never asked me to do anything for them. I already know that it's their caviar sticks. They reformulated. So I did the rest of my makeup so I could dedicate this video to Laura Mercier and their new formulation of their caviar sticks. This says, hi Julie, the moment you've been waiting for, our iconic caviar stick eyeshadow is back and better than ever. Now available in 12 new matte shades, new with an important smudge proof formula that is designed to last all day long. This is perfect because it's about 40 degrees Celsius and humid outside. Launching with its perfect companion, new caviar tightline eyeliners. This duo is about to take your eye makeup to new levels. I'm gonna swatch them for you and I'm gonna start off with a daytime look and I'm going out actually, so I'll boost it up to a nighttime look and we'll go from there. Hmm, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna start here. This is a cool shade and it's called Eau Naturelle. I love cool shades. This is called Dune. You don't have to go over it like I just went over it. <laughs> One swatch will do. And then they blend out really nice. Make sure with the caviar sticks, I already know that they're gonna dry down and last a long time. So if you wanna move them around, move them around before they set. This is called Cobblestone. Ooh, that one and that one will look so pretty. And I have Brick. I'll just do one swipe because that's all that's needed. also very pretty so I would put these two together I should have done it differently I should have looked at them first the last one is cafe noir oh that's pretty I don't know why I was expecting this to be a bit more black of course the word cafe makes it sound like coffee so this makes sense to me so you can keep it quite dark or you can blend it out to be more of that soft shadow. I wish I wasn't going out tonight because then I could do two different looks, but I have to look reasonable when I go out. I should also mention that I do have a tank top on. I am not naked. It is just really hot here. And this room is the hottest one of the house. All right, so let's start off with Dune. And I'm gonna put this all over here. And I think I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to show you how easy this is. Step by step. You see how that canceled out all the veins on my lid? To me, that's the most important part because it looks polished already just by one eyeshadow. Now, if I were to leave it like that and put mascara on, I'd be good to go. I could even take this down here. and create a look like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more up here and drag it up. That's pretty. Let me make it even on both sides. Sometimes the nicest eye makeup is the simplest. Now I'm gonna use Brick and put it on the outside corner. I am going to use a brush for this though and blend this out. We're actually going to be able to see how this layers. Sometimes with cream eyeshadows, they don't layer very well, but this one is, yay. And I'm going to drag it up onto the brow bone. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm getting older and I have less space. I have more of a hood, it's dropping. And when I look forward, I wanna be able to see that color. So always look straight ahead, just relax and drag your makeup up a little bit higher. That is the bone. And let me pull that down. This again could be a day look or this could be your nighttime look. I'm gonna use a smudge brush and smudge that out. Keep it nice and soft. And you can see that I'm not being very precise. It's kind of messy. I don't have to be precise because I'm gonna blend it out anyways. The bonus about using caviar sticks is you don't have to worry about any fallout. So you not only have a long lasting look, you have a crease proof look, your eye makeup is gonna stay and you don't have any mess to clean up. Let's recap, I have Dune first, I have Brick second, and that's all I've done with fingers and a couple brushes. 
I can see that I'm gonna brighten up my eyes under here in just a moment. I keep getting these little flecks and I'm looking at it going, that looks like hair. I cut my son's hair the other day and I cut my husband's hair in here and I think their hair has gotten onto my makeup brushes. That's what's happening. I'm like, where is this coming from? That's what's happening. Goodness, I need my own space. I'm gonna take it a step further and use Cafe Noir and create even a darker area here. Is that what I wanted to do? Yeah, I'll do that. So I'm creating more of a smoky look. This deepens it up a little bit and makes it look a little bit more dramatic. Watch me forget to wash this before I go out. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you if this budges. <laughs> like I'm pushing hard guys. Yay, perfect for a wedding. Just wanna polish my brow up a little bit right there. Okay, I gotta drive my daughter to work. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back from taking my daughter to work. Goodness, where did I leave off? I'm gonna go back into brick, but I'm actually gonna put it right on my brush first. And I'm gonna boost up the crease even more. When I apply it with my brush, I have a little bit more control. I really like that color. I thought I would like the cool tones better. I'm excited to try them, but I'm loving this. I'm gonna keep going with brick and using a smaller brush. I'm gonna deepen up around the lash line. I'm bringing it all the way across. I don't normally do that, but I think this look calls for it. There, I got a little bit of a wing. This is a Refer 23, and I'm gonna make sure that's connected. Which one do we like better? Don't know. I never bring it in that close on the inner eye, but because this color is soft, I think it looks really pretty. I'm just going wild and putting it all around. I might be sorry, but let's see how that goes. I'm gonna clean this area up with a little bit of concealer anyway. Okay, I feel better now that that's brighter. I might as well use my Laura Mercier powder. This is the original formulation. And the reason I'm using the original and not the blur powder, which is my favorite out of the Laura Mercier powders, is because I'm gonna use it to clean up under here. Just wanna clean up and blend the edges. Now I'm gonna change it up to my blur powder and set in the center of my face and underneath my eye. For my dry skin, it just works a little bit better. And I know I'm gonna get sweaty, so it is hot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the bronze. Should I use cocoa or bronze? Ooh, cocoa is nice. Let me use bronze first and we'll see. Ooh, I think I actually need to use cocoa. Yeah, I am, I'm gonna use cocoa. I'm excited. All right, so. I love a brown inner rim. I actually like it on me better than black. I'm excited to try the blue though. I went a little thick there. Let's go here. I am gonna pull this down a little bit through my lashes to make sure there's no stop and start. I want it to be really nice and blended. Yeah. I love the way this looks. I will be back to check in at the end of the night and show you how it lasted. So I guess I'll be right back. Okay, I look tired. It is 11.30 at night and I've been up since five and I did a lot today, so I am pooped. Anyways, my eyeshadow looks really good. The tight line kind of disappeared a little bit-ish, but my issue with tight lining is I always get a goop in the corner of my eye. That's why I don't like to do it. It's not so much that it doesn't stay and in order to see that it didn't stay perfectly, you'd have to really look for it. I'm looking at a 10 times mirror, but when I look at it this way, like speaking distance, I don't see that it's worn off at all. Let me see if I can show you really close. Like I have to really pull down in order to see where it's disappeared a little bit. 
and I'm sick, I have a cold. So I think that held up really, really well. Obviously this is a different day as my hair is different. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and start, since it's a new day, I can't remember what everything is. Okay, that one's au naturel. I'm gonna start off with au naturel first, or naturel, however you wanna say it. And this is gonna be a great base. As you can see, it easily covers up my veins that are see-through now in my eyes. My whole face and body is becoming see-through. My skin is getting much thinner. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I am not going far today. I've gotta go to the grocery store and the post office. Just do some running around. It's also not as hot out today, thank goodness. We've been able to enjoy our backyard and I love it. I'm gonna put some mascara on and just show you how this looks. One color by itself. Maybe I'll put a little bit down here. I'm gonna wait to put my mascara on the bottom, but I just wanted to give you an idea and I'll, and I'll put mascara on after I use a darker color. Yeah, that's a really nice, soft, clean look. Now, what's cobblestone? Yeah, that's a cooler tone. So I'm gonna take cobblestone and apply it in the outer crease. And blend. Easy peasy. Literally that simple. This also could be your daytime look. And you can smudge it with your finger if you want. I'm gonna go do my errands and I'll be back and pretend that I'm going out for dinner. People ask me why I don't wear my hair curly more often and it's this, that kind of thing drives me crazy. Okay, I'm back from my errands. We actually went out for a lot longer than I thought we were gonna be. I have to touch up my lips a little bit. Hold. Maybe a pinker lip for the evening. Yeah. I love pink and gray together. Guys, I filmed the whole nighttime look and I didn't press play. I thought I filmed it and I didn't press play. What? Do I have to do this all over again? Darn it. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so frustrating. I used Cafe Noir, smudged into my liner on top in the outer V and then I dragged it in the crease with a brush. So very similar to what I did with the other look. Maybe you just don't need to see it again. Maybe that's why it's a happy accident maybe. And the same thing goes for my liner underneath. I just smudged it out. I am gonna show you what the blue marine looks like. So let's see how this goes. Oh, that's pretty. Now, do you see, right here there's a little bit of skin showing and I don't like that. So this is why I went down through the lashes with the other look. And I think that that's very important. You want everything to be seamless and it's okay if it's a bit smudgy. Making sure that I didn't go too low. Let's do this eye and I'll see if I can show you the difference of what it looks like when it's blended and not blended. This one, you can't see any skin in between. And this one, I feel you can. Wiggle it into the lashes. This is why it's really nice to do your mascara after a look like this, but whatever. What if I created that kind of look? Yeah, see, <laughs> that's too much. No, I don't like it. So this is all matte. I wanna add a little bit of this. Again, I have no idea because I can't see it. It's the silver looking one. Pop it up a little more. It is very rare for me to not add a shimmer. It's just not in my genetics, I don't think. Look at the difference. Both are really good. It just depends on what mood you're in and what style, what you're wearing. This is so much fun. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go into this color and make sure it's all blended and soft. Because remember, I used a cream on top of a cream on top of a cream. You just keep putting the creams on top of each other, but you don't have to do that. You can use one cream on the bottom, which is going to give you that long lasting power and then add a powder over top. So your options are endless. The lashes are on. I'm ready for a night out in Sunday night and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Let me know if you've used the caviar sticks before. Do you like cream eyeshadows? Have you played with any brand of cream eyeshadows before? Which one's your favorite? Also, let me know if you like these looks. That would be so helpful. And if this is a helpful video, what would you like to see? I have had a request for my favorites for 2023 and I'm working on that. I have them in a pile, but I think
think I'm missing some items. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, the notification bell, share with all your friends, and I hope this helps, and I will see you later. Bye.